Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah and this is Medicated Housewife DIY where crafting and mental health come together. In today's DIY video we are making an unbelievable Dollar Tree wood box DIY. This is a gorgeous transformation of a $1.25 wood drawer box into a stylish piece of home decor. Perfect for your home, quick and easy. I just know you're gonna love this one. It's pretty cool, so stick around. And let's go make some stuff and jump right into this. To begin with, I'm using two of those square little Dollar Tree wood box drawers, and I removed the label from the bottom of both. I wish all of the Dollar Tree labels were this easy to remove. They have a cutout on the front of the drawer, but for our purposes, we are going to turn the drawer around so that the cutout will not be visible in the final project. Now, I feel I must make a personal disclaimer at this point that I have two horrendous looking bruises on both my arms, right beneath the wrist bones, and I want to assure you all that there is nothing wrong with me. I had acupuncture the day before filming this, and for some strange reason, both my wrists ended up making me look like a human pincushion. I tried to hide them in the video, but unfortunately they do make several appearances, so sorry for the TMI, and sorry if they are offensive, but they should be healed really soon. Let's move on to the crafting. Using my tight bond quick and thick glue, I'll link it for you in the description box below, I glue the two outer drawers together side by side. Um, you're gonna wanna use a couple of clamps to hold them tightly together as they dry. On the two drawer inserts, I grab some small craft sticks from Dollar Tree and I use my miter shears, which I'll link for you below. I set the angle to 45 degrees and I cut the craft sticks angled on both sides to make a small square frame, just slightly smaller than the front of the drawer. You can eyeball this, you really don't have to measure it. I'm just using the first cut craft stick as a template and then I mark with a pencil and cut the remaining eight sticks for both drawers, all the same size, all the same angle, so that they fit together into two square frames. I gave the edges of my frame a quick sanding to remove any rough or sharp points, and I had decided to glue the frames together off of the drawers, like I'll glue them beforehand, and then I would add them later. So I use the quick and thick and glue the two square frames together. Once my frames had a chance to set, I center them onto the front of the drawers. And remember, that's our new drawer front because that was formerly the back of the drawer because we had turned the drawer around to hide the shape cutout that was on the front. And now we are gluing the frame centered onto the new front of the drawer which was formerly the back. I'll just stop talking because I know I'm making it a lot more confusing than it has to be. Once my frames are dry on the drawer fronts, I felt like they needed a little bit more. So I decided to frame my craft stick frames with wooden dowels from Dollar Tree. And I used my miter shears to cut eight pieces of the wood dowels at a 45 degree angle on both sides so that I could then frame in my craft stick frame with them. I'm using the same method of cutting my first dowel to use as a template and then I use that to cut the seven other pieces as you can see me do. I use the quick and thick wood glue to glue each piece of dowel directly onto the drawer front and I'm framing them around the craft stick frames that are already there. I'm not really worried about the fact that the dowel is coming up over the lip of the drawer it sticks out a little bit because when we put those drawers back in they're they're still going to fit back into the base of the box without an issue i grabbed one of those wood planks that come in a pack from dollar tree and they're just about the same size as our drawer base that we glued together but they're not exactly the same size they're, they're really close though i traced the edge of the drawer base with a pencil and i used my all-purpose cutting shears i'll link them below to cut the excess edge of the wood plank off and you can also use an exacto knife to do this pretty easily too then i glue that plank to the top of my drawer base and i use a couple of clips to hold it in place as it dries 
So now I wanted to get a little fancy. I wanted to create some kind of top for this little mini dresser I'm making here. I don't know what they're called, so let me know in the comments if you know the name of what I'm trying to describe here, but I wanted to create a top that would angle out and be larger at the top and smaller at the bottom, and I, I hope that makes sense, but you'll understand as you see it as we do it. I'm using these jumbo craft sticks I got at Home Depot. I think you can get them at Hobby Lobby and at Walmart too. I mark with a pencil the length of the top of the dresser and I use my miter shears to cut an angle on both edges of the craft stick. But because these are going to be angled upwards as well as on the sides, I cut them all at a 60 degree angle so that they'll fit better together. Now. I only know that they need to be 60 degrees through trial and error. I am not smart enough to know that just by looking at them. So I cut four pieces to fit around the top edge of my dresser at 60 degrees. And then I file those edges to make them smooth and then I put them aside for a minute. I decided to frame out the whole front of my dresser and I'm using those small craft sticks again, the ones from Dollar Tree, to do that. And I just cut the sticks to size to cover the middle of the drawers on both sides and then the top and the bottom. I cut 45 degree angles on the edges that would meet at the corners and then I glue all those craft sticks down to cover the entire front of the dresser. Then it was time to try and attach together the jumbo craft sticks that I had cut at a 60 degree angle and I wasn't sure how to get a good and quick bond on them so I decided to try using both wood glue and hot glue to do this. I wanted to get that immediate hold and then I wanted to get a stronger one as the wood glue dried and I found that I had to use more hot glue than I really wanted to to get this to stay together because it's on an angle and it's a little awkward but I used as much glue as I had needed and then I went back afterwards to peel some of that excess hot glue off so that it wouldn't look so clumpy you know with all that hot glue. It ended up working out okay in the end. Um, I started with gluing two ends together and then the opposite two ends and then I attached both of those sides together. I used some Minwax wood filler in some of the deeper spaces in between frame pieces on the front of the drawers and also on the base of the dresser in the places where I felt the spaces were a little too much and then I just let that filler dry. This isn't totally necessary, I mean it was I was being a little extra but I kind of just felt that some of those grooves were just a little bit too deep and it would look better if they were filled in but this is not totally necessary. Once the wood filler dried, I did use my Dollar Tree sanding sponge off camera to give all of it a really good sanding and to make it smooth. And meanwhile, I decided to frame the top of the dresser before I added that jumbo craft stick top that I had made um, using wood dowels to frame it. And I cut them just like I cut the ones for the drawer, um, the drawer frames, the frames that were on the drawers. I marked with a pencil the length and the width of the top of the dresser, and I used my miter shears to cut 45 degree angles on both sides of each piece and then I created a rectangular frame. I glued the four piece frame together before attaching it to the top of my dresser. Once that was attached to the top of the dresser I thought to myself hey this needs even more embellishment so of course I figured why not make yet another dowel frame to fit on top of the first one. Why not, right? So I made that frame just like the first, except because the second one would be resting on the inner part of the first frame, it was just slightly smaller than the first one. So we had a slight inward graduating effect. And I did that by measuring each piece against the existing dowel frame underneath and cutting each piece to fit along the inside of the existing frame. That all sounds much more complicated than it is. Just watch what I did and you'll understand. Once the second dowel frame dried, I grabbed the Jumbo Craft Stick rectangular top thing I made and I glued it onto the top of the two dowel frames. And then I put that whole thing aside to dry. 
I knew that I wanted to put some kind of feet on the bottom of my dresser and I had bought a bag of these small wood knobs on Amazon a while back. I'll link them for you below, but I felt that they weren't going to give the piece enough height altogether and I wanted it to be taller. So I found in my scary hoarder's basement a handful of these wood coin looking things and I honestly don't know what they're supposed to be for or where they're from. Um, but they're wood and they have a flat side, a slightly domed side, so I decided to use two of them for each of my four legs. And because they have a domed side and they weren't totally flat, I figured I'll just figure out a good way to make them flush with the dresser and the knobs later. I'll just, I'll deal with it later. So I had glued one of the wood discs to the bottom of each of my knobs and I took a second disc and glued it flat side down to the four corners of the bottom of my dresser. I knew that would leave me with that domed side on the legs as well as the dresser, but you'll see later how I dealt with that. Once the dresser top that I made from Jumbo Craft Sticks was dry, I looked at it and Surprise, surprise, I thought, this needs even more embellishment. Really, really being extra on this project, I know. So again, I cut some more wood dowels at a 45 degree angle. I'm really giving that miter shears a workout today. And I made a frame of wood dowels to fit on top of my angled craft stick dresser top frame thing I made earlier. And I glued those four pieces right on top of it. There was a little awkward space between my dowel frame and the craft stick top of my dresser, so what better way to deal with that than yet another frame? Seriously, you guys, I am always that less is more kind of DIYer, but clearly today that is simply not the case. I just kept adding more and more to this dresser. So this time I used those tiny little wood skewers from Dollar Tree and I cut those at 45 degree angles and glued them in the crack between my dowel frame and the top piece of my dresser. And again, let me know in the comments if anyone can tell me what that angled piece at the top that I made is supposed to be called because I don't know what the correct name is. I know I've seen them on plenty of pieces of furniture. I just don't know the correct name. So by all means, somebody let me know. And for what I promise is the very last embellishment, I took one single wood skewer and I cut a piece to fit in the front of the dresser only, just the front, right in the crack between the base of the dresser and the first dowel frame that I had made. And I just wanted to cover this little bit of space that I could see there. I painted the entire piece, including the inside of the drawers and the little knob feet with a thinned out mixture of water and Waverly white chalk paint. I will link that for you below. I wanted the whole thing to be covered, but to still have a hint of the wood grain showing through. And I did do two or three coats though, um, but only in the places that needed more coverage, like the areas that had the wood filler on them. The rest of it was pretty much one coat. Once that dried, I grabbed my Folk Art Home Decor Antique Wax, and I'll link that for you below. And using a dry, rough bristle brush, I sparingly used the paint to create a distressed look over the entire piece, including the drawers and the feet. And I went heavier with the paint on all of the corners and the edges for a more realistic effect. And if I added too much paint in any one area, I would use a baby wipe to wipe some or all of it away. Then using a small detail brush and a little bit more of the antique wax, I brushed more of that wax into all the crevices and the cracks between each of my frames and my dowel frames and between the spaces in the corners of the square frames on my drawers too. And doing that just gave the whole thing a really authentic antique look. I figured out the best way to attach the feet to the domed discs on the bottom of the dresser was to drill a small hole both in the middle of the four discs and in the middle of the discs that were attached to the knobs. I cut a tiny little piece of skewer for each of those feet and I glued the little piece of skewer into the hole on both the dresser bottom and then 
into the four feet, the hole in the middle of each of the four feet. And once that dried, the legs were very sturdy despite having two rounded sides that were touching each other where they were attached. Plus, it gave the whole piece a lot more height. And this is how my unbelievable Dollar Tree wood box DIY turned out. I am just amazed that two of those little square Dollar Tree wood boxes could be transformed into this gorgeous, stylish home decor piece. Technically, I guess you could call it a mini dresser or a mini chest of drawers. Either way, it came out so much more beautiful than I had anticipated. And the fact that while using popsicle sticks, wooden dowels, and skewers, we were able to achieve stunning little details like these, it's truly amazing. I was beyond happy with the turnout. I think this has a farmhouse meets shabby chic kind of vibe to it, and I'd like to use it for small plants like I'm showing here, but it would also look amazing in a living room or a bedroom for knickknacks or something like that. I just get a very, very high-end feel from this, but I want to know what you think. Let me know in the comments if you love this Dollar Tree wood box DIY and what you would use it for. And hey, also please let me know in the comments if you know the correct name for that top part of this dresser. I am sure there's a proper name for it that I just don't know. I hope you enjoyed this Medicated Housewife DIY, and if you did, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing. It really helps out my channel. Once again, thanks for watching, and until next time, I'm the Medicated Housewife, and crafting is my medication.